Hey guys, this is Never Enough Lego here. Today I will be doing a review on the Lego Technic Unimog U400. Uh, so, it has five manuals, which is quite a lot. Um, yeah, not really anything special there, but it's five is a lot of manuals. Um, then you, the box has 2,048 pieces and costs $200. Uh, set 8110. Shows all the uh, features there, and it has a pneumatic system, and it's from Mercedes-Benz. When the top opens, which a lot of sets don't do anymore, shows more about the pneumatic things and the power functions, and more features and stuff. Um, so yeah, then back shows the alternate model, which you can get uh, instructions for online. So I think it's pretty much the same. Uh, basic thing, but it has a plow instead. So then on to the main model itself. Um, I'll start with the front. There's a winch here, which is powered by the power the power functions. Um, a lot of stickers in this set. Um, they're not necessary, but I think that they add to it, add to the set. So there's a Mercedes-Benz uh, piece there. This whole front piece here is uh, standard system bricks. Um, there's a steering wheel up here. It doesn't actually turn the uh, wheels, but it does turn. The doors on the sides don't open. Um, lights in the front here, rear view mirrors, lights up top, lights here in front. It has suspension. It can move to the sides and back also. Um, there are the seats. Um, if you can see inside there, there are four of these uh, engines. They move up and down as the uh, truck moves. So that's pretty cool. Then this gear at the top, if you turn it, it'll turn the wheels. Um, it's easier to do like if you're moving it at the same time. So there you can see that. And then we'll just turn it back around there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, just, if I could pick this up, and I'll just turn it on its side. If you see underneath, like, this part here is, like, on an angle. If you could see, it's, like, angled down a little bit. And then, it's just really cool how they like, figured all this out, and how the gears work and stuff. Um, I can't get it back up. There we go. Um, and then there's just a bed, this, uh, container here, which is actually... Like it comes with numbered bags, and this 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 is number three, which is kind of weird. Um, if you pull these red pins out, you can lift the top up. I'm not going to do that though. Here's the battery box with the switches to control the pneumatics, all those, and the uh, and the gears. And these switches in the back control the pneumatics for um, the crane. And then here, if you turn their gears on both sides, if you turn those. Except these pneumatics get in the way, these hoses. If you turn those, then the stabilizers go down on both sides. Um, then you can take this crane off and put it in the front and switch it with that. So now I'll show you um, the uh, power functions. It, depending on which way you turn this, it'll like turn this a different way or turn that a different way. So let's see uh, if I can remember all the different ways. Uh, so there you have the winch going down, and if you turn it the other way, it goes up. So there's the winch. Um, I think these are both up. Then it'll turn crane. Um, let's see. Yeah, so there you can see the crane's turning. You can switch, flip, switch the other way. Um, and then you can see back here, um, this piece will hit this and it will stop it um, from moving. Um, so that's really the only bad thing about the crane. And then if you flip both these down, I mean flip this, the yellow one down, and you have to make sure this one is that way to if it's in the back, and then this way if it's in the front. Um, this will control the crane. Uh, sometimes you need to give it a nudge up or down. Um, 
Not usually though. Um, and by the way, I know this is a little loud, so sorry about that. And it also requires six uh, AA batteries. So I'm gonna show you this now. It's pretty cool. So flip this up. That will raise, and then flip it down, and that part will lower. So I'll flip that up more again. Then this middle one will control this one, so it can go up more. You see there. And then this one will open. Sometimes this, sometimes this last one doesn't work. You need to like push it open, and then a little. There we go. Um, so it will actually hold this. So I'm gonna see if I could actually pick it up, uh, which is a little kind of hard, but so almost have it there. go down a little bit more and then I'm just going to turn this so it'll pick it up easier and then so you can uh, raise it there so it will actually pick things up uh, which is pretty cool and then if you turn that off it won't drop it so this is a very cool set um, I'm not a huge Techno fan but I still enjoyed the build and um, really like the set so I would suggest getting it if you, uh, even if you're interested in Technic, maybe buy a smaller set first to see if you are, but then this is uh, the biggest Technic set also. I would really recommend this set, it's really awesome. Um, so yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.